Hey, hey everyone. I just wanted to make this impromptu video about a game that I've been playing lately that I wanted to share with you all. Uh, so the game I've been playing is a mobile game called Magnum Quest. It's a idle hero collector RPG type game. Um, just wanted to say first off that this is not a sponsored or this is not an ad. This is not something I get any benefits from. Just something I wanted to make and put on my channel because I'm having fun with it. So I just wanted to point out some uh, pros and cons. Uh, pros, one is uh, it's like a more relaxed and casual version of Raid Shadow Legends, which I'm sure many of you have seen ads for. Uh, and it doesn't have the pay to play aspect that Raid Shadow Legends has. Uh, you don't have to pay to play the game after you've run out of energy like Raid does. Um, it seems to have more strategy involved and it involves some problem solving and critical thinking skills. Uh, little puzzles um, when you're doing any kind of fights and stuff like that. There's You gotta match up different factions to, you know, balance out where you're gonna, you know, position your players and stuff like that. Definitely adds a nice uh, aspect to that. Um, I like that you can play as much or as little as you want. Um, you don't really get penalized for not playing a lot and you don't really get a whole lot of benefits for, you know, grinding 24 seven. So it's a, like I said, nice casual game pretty much. Uh, RNG is still a factor in this game, but you can brute force your way through it sometimes. So that's definitely a plus that you're not basically restricted to RNG, which can definitely screw you over. Uh, Another thing that I like is paying real money doesn't really improve your power much unless you dump like hundreds or thousands of dollars into the game. Uh, the free-to-play rewards are pretty good and most of the paid perks can be unlocked over time, so that's a bonus. Even, you know, some cosmetic skins can be unlocked from events, so you don't have to pay for those either. Another big uh, pro to this is the music is very relaxing, the graphics are pretty to look at, and when you win or you do something successfully, um, it actually feels rewarding, so you get that little, you know, dopamine hit of uh, a feeling good when you accomplish something, so that's always good. Sadly, though, there seems to be more cons than pros, but some people this will bother, some people it won't. Uh, biggest downside for me, and this is not limited to this game, it's most mobile games, actually, is it's mostly a single-player game even though there is some multiplayer function and features to it. Uh, it's very little, comparatively, and there's even fewer community building features, which, I mean, okay. Uh, the chat isn't very engaging, um, but I guess at least it's not toxic, so that's good. Um, the, the censorship in the chat cannot be disabled, and it's extremely strict, like, to the point where most common words you're getting letters censored out of them. So like you can't even type phone, it'll censor the H O and phone. So that's kind of annoying. Uh, the other thing that's also annoying is the block feature only blocks DMS. So if there's spammers in the chat, which quite frequently there are, you can't actually block them in the chat. You can only block their DMS, which doesn't seem very useful. So the chat is kind of hit or miss. Uh, another con is the friends lists are limited to 30 users, even though there's a hard cap of how many friendship points you can get, of which is 20 a day, so those numbers don't even add up, so why why is there a limit of 30 users? Uh, there's no reason that you should ever be limited to a specific number of friends on a mobile game where there's an, any emphasis on communication. Uh, especially, like, in this game, a level 1 guild has 35 slots, so... You can't even friend all your guild mates with a max of 30 users. The, this is common for most mobile games that I've played, so... The, it, it, I still don't like it. <laughs> um, so, another, another thing about the guilds. Guilds are useful, but not required. Um, I wish there was more emphasis on guilds, but... The, the, the perks you get, few and far between. Uh, the only redeeming quality is that the guild chat is... You know pretty good, I guess, compared to the regular chat if you're in an active guild, uh, in which case there's also probably a Discord, so you probably join that outside of the game if you 
you really want to communicate. Uh, the guild bosses are fun, but they're still a very solo experience. You don't actually fight the boss with other players. It's a cumulative thing, so you fight them, your guildmates fight them, and then it just adds the totals together. It's exactly like how Raid Shadow Legends did it, and not a big fan of it. Uh, PvP is also very minimal, uh, and it's not true PvP. You're just playing against AI-controlled characters of other players, and you can cheese it so that you can pick and choose your fights, so you'd only be fighting uh, weaker players, so you always win. Kind of annoying. Uh, sometimes you'll hit a wall when you can't really do anything except the daily tasks for a day or two. And when you do the daily tasks after a few days, then you can level up your characters and then you can get past that wall. But uh, that's very frustrating. I actually almost quit over this uh, after my first week. But I thankfully was in an active guild, so I was able to, you know, chat and stuff like that online when I wasn't doing stuff. Uh, the only, you know, benefit to this... or not really a benefit, but the only, uh, the light at the end of the tunnel is eventually you unlock more features and this becomes less of an issue. So I hit a wall basically for the main quest and then I ended up unlocking new gameplay options. So I was able to do quests, uh, more dungeons opened up, more bosses uh, opened up. So the main campaign wasn't my main focus anymore and that made things a lot more fun when I had more options to you know focus on and play and stuff like that so so to summarize all this uh, I think the game is fun I think it's slightly addicting and I like that I can play as little or as much as I want uh, I can put the game down for 13 hours 18 hours no problem uh, I can skip a day if I want to uh, I can also you know spend the whole day in there if I'm in the guild chat or if I'm, you know, grinding away at, at one specific quest that I want to finish, and I, you know, try different uh, tactics, try different team compositions, stuff like that. Um, it relies more on RNG than skill, um, but because it has the problem-solving aspect of it, you can tweak RNG in your favor. Uh, it doesn't feel like a waste of time when I play it, because the rewards are mostly balanced and fulfilling. And when I finally overcome an obstacle, there's a real sense of accomplishment and satisfaction. Uh, the one thing I, I do actually like is the in-app purchases are usually not worth it. So people who spend money, uh, unless you're spending a lot of it, like there's, they don't get that much of a benefit over you. There's no, no huge gap unless, you know, they're a whale and they're spending thousands and thousands of dollars, which of course you can, you know, <laughs> of course you'll be better if you spend that kind of money. Uh, but even then, there are some decent in-app purchases for 99 cents that give you that little extra push if you need it. So, if you're willing to spend a few bucks, you actually get some benefits out of it. Um, but the experience for a free-to-play player is still an enjoyable one, even if you put zero money into it and you don't want to spend, you know, 24-7 grinding. So, there's definitely that. So, if you do want to play... And if you want to get some free items when you start, you can use the referral code in the description, or you can search Google for one. I don't get any benefits if you use my code. I already hit my limit for referrals, so only people using the code actually get any kind of benefits. So I don't care if you use mine or use somebody else's, but I recommend finding somebody's and using that one just to get the benefits. If you can't find anybody's, go ahead and use mine. That works too. Uh, also, if you do decide to play the game, you can go into the account menu in the game and redeem these codes that I'm going to put on screen here. Uh, the first one is MQ123. The second one is MQ999. And the third one is MQ Harvest. These will all give you some free items in the game. These are the active ones currently. Uh, there, there's usually a list online if you want to search for them for current codes if you're you know, watching this video later. And if you do decide you want to give the game a try and join me in the game, my guild name is Hijacked, with an at symbol for the A. Uh, you can also send me a friend request in the game if you search for Cujo. And yeah, that's about it. I just wanted to give everyone a, a little overview of this game. Uh, definitely giving it a thumbs up. It's been a lot of fun so far. So there you go. Thanks for watching.
Peace out.